In this tutorial I want to demonstrate to you some of the standard terrain features. Here we have the, the terrain icon and here I have some terrain features. If I want to draw a hill and I can select the height of the hill, whether I want to replace or add to the existing terrain and the appearance of the outline. So here we have the hill. And now for a swale, which is a, a small depression. Now for a plateau. Note I can select the steepness of the slope of the plateau. Again, we can change the steepness of the slope. A trench, which is the inverse of the wall. And finally, slope. And for the slope I can actually define the direction of the slope before the final click. I can combine the different terrain types. Here I have a hill and I may wish to have a wall going over the hill and here I'm going to add to the existing terrain. So as you can see the wall also takes the form of the hill. If I repeat that but this time I'm going to replace the existing terrain see that the wall detracts from the hill. If I was to draw a plateau, I can also select to show the height points. In this case we're going to have a few less segments. Now if I need to edit these height points I have to select the environment as my current element because all terrain features are actually added to the environment level. So I can now edit these, double click, you can see the XY coordinates and I can then set the new height value. And you can see the immediate effect of the terrain. 